If you're looking for a great digital product to create and sell, or you're someone who loves to scrapbook, or you like to dress up your daily journal, you are definitely going to want to check out this tutorial because today I'm showing you how to make planner stickers with Canva. This is one of my favorite things to create in Canva. I try to always start my day by journaling and I usually add planner stickers to dress it up. It just makes it more fun and more relaxing. Plus, planner stickers are a fantastic digital product that you can create and sell. You can go to Etsy to get inspiration. You can go to Google, type in planner stickers and you'll get all kinds of inspiration there. You want to make sure that you don't copy anyone else's stickers, but it's a good way to get inspired to create your own. Today, I'm going to show you the easiest way that I have found to make planner stickers. I always create my planner stickers on an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of sticker paper and I've made my artboard eight and a half by 11 inches. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn my background into a very light gray so that if I add shapes or frames that are white, I'll still see them. And typically I use frames or shapes to create my planner stickers or I use my own graphics. So to get started, we'll go to elements, we'll click on frame, and we'll add a circle and we'll shrink it down, pull it to the top, control D, put this next to it. Now you wanna make sure that when you are placing your elements on your artboard, that you leave enough space in between so that they can be cut out without cutting into the image next to it. And we'll just control D to duplicate and we will go to this folder and I will just grab some of my graphics to fill the frame with. And if you have followed me for any time, you know that I love colors. So I'll make each one a different color. And then if I wanted to add text, go to the text button in the left sidebar, add your text box, type your text, and then just pull it over your frame. And we'll make this stand out a little better. And control D, and I'll pull it over to the next one. And we'll type Tuesday. Now to make sure that I've, I'm getting these lined up right, I'm going to select the text box, hold down the shift button, select the frame, go to position, and it's already centered and right in the middle. So I will group that. Do the same thing with this one, select the text box, hold down the shift key, select the frame, go to position. Um, it's already centered, so we'll click middle, and now we'll group it. And for this box, we're going to add Wednesday, and we'll need to shrink that one down. It's kind of a long one. Shrink it down a little bit more. There we go. And then I want to make this the same color. So while the text box is selected, I'm going to hold down the shift key, select the frame, go to position, put it in the middle, and group it. So if I wanted to copy the text box now, I would get both of these. Delete the frame, but it deletes everything. So add your text box. This one is going to be Thursday and we'll slide it up, make it the same color and hold down the shift key. Actually, before I do that, let's just copy and paste this text box. There we go. Now go back and select the text box, hold down the shift key, click the frame, position, center, and group. This one, we're going to say Friday. And now all of these are the same size. So let's finish this one. And for this one, I'm just gonna say weekend. So if you want to go back and make this the same size as this one, it's 13.5, go back to the text box, 13.5, and it makes it the same size. And now they're all the same size. So for the next one, what I'm going to do, go back to elements, find a button that I like to use, shrink this down, and I'm gonna pull it up here, make it just slightly smaller. Let's add this one, see if it works. 
and we'll add him and then we'll make this color so let's use the color picker and we will select this purple and make it match so you can see that i'm just making my shapes and my frames all in a row um so now i'm going to go back to my folders and let's open my graphics folders and i have one for stickers so these are all items that i like to use for my stickers here are some of my favorites and i'll add it and shrink it down so as you can see what i'm doing is I am adding my elements kind of one by one, sizing them up and lining them up. And here's a different size and shape. We can add that here. You just pick the elements that you like. If you're going to sell your stickers and you're going to use Canva elements, you need to make sure that you are using frames and elements that are free. I personally do not like to sell any item that has Canva elements in it. I feel like that um, they should all be your own graphics that you have a commercial license for. So I'll just get all of my stickers added that I want to use and I'll get them lined out. Now, one little hint, when I'm doing my planner stickers for myself and I'm not planning on selling them, I will set these up so that they all line up and I can use a paper cutter to make a straight line. And we'll just keep adding until I've got everything added that I want to use. And you can make whatever size, colors, theme, whatever you want to use. We we'll need to make these a little bigger, I think. So we'll make this one from this one down here. Add a few more. Okay, and then for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and move him down here to the bottom and like this one. Now, if you want to know if you've got them the same size, very quickly scroll over all of them and select, and you can see some of these boxes are a little smaller than the others. So let's just go in and make sure that the line matches up. Do it one more time. That looks pretty good. So we'll go to position, tidy up, and this will equally space them out. If you want to bring them down just a little bit, just grab them while they're all selected and scoot them down. For these, highlight them all. This one is a little bit smaller, but that's okay. Tidy up, and now they're all equally spaced and tidy up. I am very big on affirmations and inspiration. And if you go to elements and type in inspiration, you can find some of these that are free and you can add that to your little label. And then of course, I also have my sayings graphics folders that I use all the time. So we'll use this one. And I only want the words, I don't want the black background. So while this is selected, I'll go to edit image, background remover, let it work its magic, click apply, just to control the size better, kind of pull everything in, shrink it down to the size you want it. Now, it doesn't show up very well on that. So go back to edit image, click on duotone and see if any of these colors work. You don't really see anything that I think will really stand out nicely. So I'll just pick one and then I'll go into the settings and change it all to black and let it work its magic. And then I will select both of these and group them together. If you do not group them together and you accidentally move one, it can be a pain to get everything all lined up again. If you wanted to add icons, what I do for my icons, go to elements and click out of that, go to frame and you want to scroll down. This is the one that I use for my icons. Add it to your board, shrink it down, and let's zoom back in so you can see because it does get kind of small. So I will change the blue circle to match one of our colors. And let's just make it black. And then the inside, you want to click on the other color box and then you can pick your color. You could go to elements and um, for example, type in hair salon and pick a free image, shrink it down and add it right over that frame. And then if you wanted to add another icon, 
before you group this, select this frame and control D. Slide it over to the next space. Highlight both of these and group them. And then I'm going to go back to my graphics. I just really prefer using my own graphics that I know I have a commercial license to. That way there's never any question about um, am I selling something that I don't have the rights to sell. Okay, say I want an icon to go out for drinks with a friend. I will pick a cocktail, drink it down. This can happen with certain graphics or photos. They may take up the frame. So all you have to do is click the undo button, pull your cocktail off, go back to elements, X out of that, grab a circle, shrink it down and pull it over. Now bring this to the front and size up your glass to fit in that icon. And then while the glass is selected, hold down the shift key, click the frame, go to position, center and middle. So now it's lined up correctly. Go back to the glass, select it, right click, send backwards, grab the circle and move it. And now you have your icon. So here are icons that I've created. Again, just the same way I showed you frames with graphics over top of them. But I hope that this has been super helpful and I hope that you are inspired to start creating some planner stickers. If you want to sell them, go for it. Don't be afraid. Give it a try. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those below in the comment section and I will be happy to get back to you just as quickly as I can. I will be back next week with another tutorial. Until then, have a great week and enjoy your Canva. Thank you.